Okay guys, so this is the programming tutorial 2 for chapter 4, page 222. Uh, it's uh, the Greenview Health Club application. And basically here, uh, this is a very simple program where you just uh, enter your basic monthly fee and um, based on if you want to purchase tennis or, or if you want to play tennis or racquetball then you check any of these boxes and then calculate the dues. So I mean based on what you checked you'll get your final uh, dues the amount you entered here plus the charge for using these uh, any one of these um, options I guess. So um, to save some time for you so that you don't have to see me coding all that or writing like uh, I did before um, I I have the code here already and I'm gonna just explain what I did uh, and basically when you uh, s if you want to do this tutorial if you want to do it yourself most of the stuff will be done for you that uh, you'll be like um, basically it'll ask you to open the project which is gonna be there in in your data files chapter 4 Greenview solution and you click this and most of it will be done like all this design and all that uh, all these buttons, labels, text boxes will be already named for you. So you'll have to do the coding. Um, so here I wrote my name um, and I just did it today. So um, and you also have have to uh, have these options for explicit on, infer off, strict on. Uh, the general options we always had. Uh, once we got familiar with them and then uh, the exit button code will already be there for you it's it's you know uh, we have done this a thousand times so th the designers of these chapters just figure why why bother with them doing it so and this simple line of code is just nothing close and then uh, the m main pro programming here is the calculate button so this is supposed to take in your input, the number you provide, and see if uh, you've checked any of these uh, checkboxes. And if you have, then then it just adds the amount, basically. So um, so what you do is first you select, you know, the calculate and but calculate button procedure. So if I like actually do this, a new event procedure will happen but I don't want to do that so yeah so once you do that you put comments that this uh, calculates the month monthly dues which includes a basic fee and optional additional charges and you and then you provide constants and these are like uh, the extra charges like ten dollars for using the tennis ball core or tennis court or or sorry twenty dollars for using the tennis court and ten dollars extra for using the racquetball course so these are like the tennis charge and the racquetball charge these are note that these are constants and uh, they are integers that's why it's defined like this and then we define a variable called monthly dues which um, is what we are gonna assign to the value the user inputs and notice all these are inside this event procedure so these are uh, gonna disappear or uh, or the value stored in them are gonna dis disappear once the coding is finished so it's these are uh, not accessible outside of this calculate bus button um, event procedure so <laughs> now this line of code basically takes in the users input which is in this text text box basic fee text box so we take the text in basic fee text box and we use the integer try parse method to assign uh, the number there to monthly dues our defined variable um, and then and and, and it's assuming these monthly dues are like you know integer numbers not like something which has a which includes some sense like 60.75 or something like that it's assuming that the due is a whole number some integer so it doesn't have any um, dimes or cents or nickels or quarters 
so that's why it's an integer and now the code where we get to add any additional charges and here we use two if statements just if no if else so if the tennis box tennis checkbox which is this one so this checkbox has the name tennis checkbox so if tennis box dot checked is true so if it is checked that that's what this means so check if that checkbox is checked then your monthly dues is going to be whatever it was plus tennis charge which is twenty dollars so this is that uh, code plus equals to so that just means that um, I can say that means that monthly dues equals to monthly dues plus tennis charge so this smaller code is actually the same as this so it updates the value stored here with uh, by adding it with the tennis charge and same goes for here is just a uh, it checks whether if the racquetball check checkbox or um, this checkbox racquetball checkbox is checked if that's the case if it's actually checked then again you add the monthly due with uh, the racquetball charge and again um, this is the same as doing this So I mean, if somebody goes ahead and you know check checks both of these, then twenty plus thir ten, so thirty dollars is going to be added to whatever fee they mention. Anyways, uh, so the last line is just to display um, the total monthly dues in the label, which is this one here, dues label. So the dues label text is going to be whatever is the value of monthly dues. It is converted to a string in the format C2 so in this current C format with uh, two decimal points and that is all for the code so pretty simple code really um, so now if I start it so and I suppose enter fifty dollars and then just don't check anything so my dues is fifty dollars but now if I check tennis it will go up by twenty twenty dollars and if I again check racquetball, it will go up by 10 more dollars, 80. And then if I uncheck tennis, then it goes back to 60. And if I uncheck this, it goes back to 50. So pretty simple application. You can try it yourself. This introduces you to like, you know, check boxes and the if statement really. And then you can understand that using these kind of techniques, you can build nice little form with has checkboxes and you can update based on whatever is checked or not.